guys and uh, welcome to another uh, showcase of my Revit family. Um, this is uh, Lord Khalifa which I created with just all four Revit families as you can see here. Uh, so let's start from for example this on the bottom. I just create this on the bottom to be a few parametric parameters uh, we will show in a in our Revit uh, family model so basically this is just for the bottom and this is a uh, most complex Revit family because with just this one family I was able to create uh, all floors all from the bottom from the here to the top so with just one this family uh, is possible to create this uh, all building basically so this uh, second uh, third one is for railing it's on the every top floor here here you will see the model and this is just top uh, on the top so just four four uh, families two are very simple uh, one is a uh, basic maybe and uh, this is most complex so we will show uh, what is all about so for example as you can see i have uh, this family it's exactly uh, height uh, according uh, real wolf khalifa so uh, let's go to the 3d view and uh, as we can see uh, i i created it uh, if you have problem with uh, speed of your uh, rotating I um, created uh, so if you change data 11 to medium all of uh, all uh, columns at, at the facade uh, will disappear as you can see here or I mean uh, facade so if I turn it back to fine all uh, facade columns will show up again yeah so for speed it up process let's go to medium and um, as you can see this is a one a rabbit family which I created so this is that uh, bottom so when I when you go to inside uh, so you will find this uh, family I create in every rabbit family uh, same uh, parameter so in a final one big model I can um, put that parameters to global parameters so you just change one parameter and it will change everything so you can see uh, it here let's go to the family types and you can see so you can change uh, almost uh, every time three materials it will be always three materials slab glass and uh, metal so slab is for this kind of slabs uh, glass is glass for facade and uh, metal is for material for columns so you can see um, so you can change slab glass and metal so uh, metal is always um, columns at facade and uh, uh, as you can see I uh, if you go to here on you can hide you can see uh, columns are hidden uh, again and same is go to the fine detail level and you will see everything again so this is basically what I do when I want to have my model to be fast and uh, don't uh, freeze a, a much so always working with medium then okay go again to family types this height is uh, this is just informative because I want to make exactly a height for every level uh, every floor at Burj Khalifa so this is uh, just uh, info parameter but uh, this three more uh, parameters are changeable so height of slab is every slab you can see here so for example go to 60 
it should change as you can see here it's a change for 600 and uh, also uh, these two parameters is for uh, columns on facade so if I'm going to define and let's close this up we can see uh, 60 is here uh, and uh, 120 is here dimension so when I'm go here I can change it for uh, for example 20 and 80 as you can see here so it should be all yeah all columns are changed so it's like ellipse uh, shape so in uh, width is uh, v1 and uh, uh, length is v2 yeah so you can change it according this so let's put it back okay so it should be be should be again as it was at start so let's go to um, second Revit family but uh, I want to show you if uh, when I put this all together I just create in this this is not a Revit family this is a, just a model and I just linked all four Revit families into this so I change it uh, and I put it to global parameters as you can see in manage I think and go to the global parameters and you can see Free materials are of all model. A uh, height of slab is or for every slab of and every floor. Uh, column uh, facade is for every column. Same here. Uh, width of ring. Width of ring is. Uh, I can you can see just in uh, detailed uh, fine uh, in the fine uh, level. So ring is this it's like this uh, uh, metal thing around the building and it's also it's uh, at every level so you can change width of it also and uh, last parameters are Uh, height of railing so we will see what is it on at the final showcase but this is like railing at the every top over every part of a building okay so let's change it back to medium so we won't see okay so let's go to our biggest family and this is most complex and um, you can with this make almost uh, all building so let's op open it okay so we are here I will preview visibility on so you will see what is changed so same here free materials so you don't have to i don't have to explain it it's again same um, this is just informative uh, this is not informative as you can see we can change this to 6000 for example and all height will change but uh, uh, i calculated uh, 3700 is uh, just for every uh, level just on the upper part uh, there are like six uh, meter height levels so you can change in then so if you can see uh, now it should be higher all all things in this family uh, should be changed according this value which we put yes you can see 600 now height of slab is again what what i uh, was uh, showing you so just this slab it will be bigger I want to I, I don't want to show you again so and uh, width for rings the same um, uh, this is uh, for fa facade uh, column same uh, so let's go to this one 
so it's visibility for every part one two three four for each uh, side so if I uncheck it will be hidden I don't know maybe this two or this two or this two so two parts will be hidden so this is uh, how I build this so you what you want uncheck this will be a little <laughs> bad but uh, uh, we will fix it of if uh, of course uh, on I don't know I make uh, 10 floors then I uh, uncheck one 10 floors and I uncheck a second one and this going on so I uh, unchecked almost everything so so let's put it like this for example so everything is uh, visible for every part uh, every visible parameter have are here so let's uncheck all and from I don't know which level you will be working just with this middle part so we will show it what it does um, so again uh, I just have one two three four four parts so let's uncheck like uh, this one so it will be hidden to uh, corners yeah and uh, I have middle one checked so uh, you will have this you will you can make all levels with just this one and uh, yes you can see and this is just middle one so uh, I want to show you one thing uh, how to calculate you need uh, in the upper part you need to um, make this count of uh, facade uh, columns uh, make it uh, lower so you can see for count of v-shape is this one two three so when I make it like for ten it should have less uh, yes you can see mm -hmm. so this is how I uh, at upper levels I uh, uh, adjust uh, so it will be straight up from bottom to line so uh, fa facade uh, will uh, look good so uh, again you can make it on the middle one you, on the circle one okay let's go for example like 20 it should be changed accordingly yeah and uh, this for legs legs are this yeah so for example let's turn this on turn this on yes and I can uh, change it for example for 10 it's 10 uh, I think maybe discount it was really hard to make it uh, so I can change it accordingly yeah as you can see it changed accordingly let's turn this on everything let's see everything and it should be so you can adjust every this all kinds of parameters from dimensions to the bottom uh, just this the, uh, this parameter is just for informative uh, uh, informa information so if I so let's turn this on again so this should be all right and I will I want to show you how I uh, make this uh, in the like very special uh, levels like this yeah I uh, make again parameter for it so if you go to family types so let's turn this off and let's turn this on and change it to 900 and for example 300 yeah you can see I have done, done this so basically with this is possible to make every level at Burj Khalifa so let's go back to the final two Revit families, uh, most simple. 
and it's uh, this railing so let's go here um, very fast i will explain it it's basically same principle as um, before revit family so go to family types and you can change dimension for example twenty thousand. it will be sh uh, smaller yeah A height also and uh, width of columns and railing yeah so you just uh, put it on uh, on the top on the roof and you are done so it's really really simple okay and go back to on the top it's final it's final our family so again you can see every height is parametric and every uh, radius is also parametric and of, of course uh, material so you can change it so i need to have it parametric because i want to have exactly uh, height of burj khalifa so uh, 890 meters so basically that's it and it's all, uh, everything is uh, done i will have this model in the link in the description and i will again if you want to change anything here globally you have this few parameters and you can change with this everything on the model uh, i have for tip i have this model linked in my for for example some topography and if you link this at any model you want it will be basically working really fast and well you don't you don't have to build topography inside this model because it's a little bigger i think about 50 uh, megabytes so i suggest uh, you to link this in the other revit family link this revit and it will be working very well uh, so uh, thank you for your time and we will See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.